Um, a Northwestern study found people who got news from social media, and we all did to some extent probably during the pandemic if you have an account, uh, people who got news from social media more likely to believe misinformation about the coronavirus. So we're specifically here talking about the pandemic. About 25% of social media users that were surveyed believed a false COVID-related story. And what was found is those things they believe often turned into actions, uh, which you see here in the quote. And that can create some real challenges. Some interesting things, though. Didn't matter if you were Republican or Democrat. Didn't matter if you watched CNN, MSNBC, Newsmax. The level of misperceptions were relatively similar across all those groups. One thing that surprised me, though, people under 45 were more likely to believe misinformation. So shout out to all you over 45s out there. I'm not there yet, but I'm on my way. Um, and then, as I mentioned, that's, the study showed misinformation was linked to action. So if you believe a falsehood about masks, you're less likely to wear masks in public, right? And that was part of the challenge that um, uh, scientists and public officials dealt with over the last year. So it shows the impact of media. So one thing I want to do here, and Betsy, you can toss up the next poll, is let's just go through a few posts. And these were posts that were widely shared um, or interacted with in some way. Um, so as we look at the one up on the screen, is this post true? Give you guys a second to vote on that. And I really like the reactions that are coming in. And I'll tell you why here in a second. Do you guys go for that? I'm going to go ahead and end polling in the interest of time, and we'll share those results with you. So the majority of you said no or I'm not sure. There's nothing wrong with saying, I'm not sure, because I look at I'm not sure as I'm not going to share because I'm not sure. And it turns out that this isn't correct. Some of the dates are off, right? So it's somebody who's just kind of, you know, using the similarities in dates to create a narrative and then post that for the public. So that's a little bit of a challenge there. Um, we're going to now go to another one let's take a look at. And Betsy, if you have that, you can throw it up. We saw a lot of posts like these, and actually one of my stations got in trouble with a um, uh, coronavirus. You're more likely to get coronavirus if you have a beard because they misread something. In this case, the glasses help protect you from COVID. And this is kind of a tricky one. So do glasses help prevent you from catching COVID. And, you know, let's also look right at the post a little bit. It's from something called Skeptic. I'm guessing a lot of us don't go to skeptic.org a lot, right? Okay, I'm going to end polling there and we'll share the results. So this one is interesting because there, there's a medical study that says, yes, it's true, but it's also a disputed medical study, right? It came out in one journal, you have uh, trusted medical professionals who come out and say, no, that's not true. And so you don't even have the medical community in agreement on this, right? So it creates then a real challenge for media outlets. What do you put out there? Well, you say this media journal said it, but are you saying that it's disputed? Do people know from that post that it's disputed, right? So there's some real challenges associated with that. Um, we'll now go to our last post here. And Betsy, you can throw up the poll for this. And ultimately, what we're saying, we're seeing a post from a politician saying that $3.7 million was given to or awarded to Wuhan clinics from the Obama administration. So we see things rolling in here. You guys are quick on these polls. I like it. We have fast fingers today with all the, uh, the work we're doing. I'm going to end polling here and we'll share results. A lot of I don't knows, a lot of knows. So this is another one of those half-truths, right? There was money that was sent from the Obama administration. There was also money sent from the Trump administration. 
not all necessarily for, for Wuhan clinics, part of an overall package, right? But I would just say with that, the challenge here, and in this case, it's a Republican uh, lawmaker who tweeted this. Any lawmaker, you see a post from a lawmaker, you look at it with a grain of salt. The only post from a lawmaker I will initially believe is if he said, I met with some Boy Scouts today and has a picture with the Boy Scouts. That's the only one. Everything else has to be looked at with some skepticism um, because there, there could be an agenda there, right? Um, so just keep that in mind before you uh, retweet or share information from lawmakers. You don't need to believe something until you know the source, right? We don't want to play a role in spreading misinformation. We want to understand how algor algorithms work. And we also want to limit social media time, right? That's probably one of the biggest things. Um, you know, we all need those moments to be able to uh, uh, unwind decompress, and it's difficult to do that on social media. So actually, after I watched this documentary, I turned off all my Facebook notifications because it made me think Facebook is sending me this thing specifically so I will get on its app, so I will spend more time. Um, so that's one quick thing I did uh, based off that entirely. Hi, and thanks for visiting my channel. While you're here, go ahead and subscribe, comment below, or click another one of these videos. Make it a great day.